remember there was one story of one yogi and this is old story the yogi goes meditating in the forest and these are great yogis they could meditate for many months at a time even without eating food so he goes and sits down in the forest closes his eyes and enters the inner way the inner world and after a few days one vine little plant begins to curl itself around his arm and then after three days of doing it it suddenly stopped and began to unwind from the arm because there was sufficient consciousness in even this plant it said this is a great yogi he can sit for a very long time but one day he has to get up and when he gets up he will break me so it unwinds and it went to a great tree and it began to climb on this tree because it said at least the tree will outlive me better i cling to that one uh, who will not break me and we are clinging to so many things which are not real give so much attention to what is transient everything that you can see that you think or imagine or remember everything is passing like clouds floating in the infinite sky nothing is stable coming and going even our own self image is constantly changing but there is something here in whose presence all these changes are perceived and that remains untouched by the play and the movement of the mind and the body why not search for this thing how long will it take you how much distance to cover only the distance of a thought but this thought this thought i am not i am not i am not myself i am the body mind this is a very mm, mischievous thought very costly thought all the beings come into suffering by purchasing this thought you are not a thought you are not a thought you are not even the thinker of thoughts even the thinker of thoughts is itself a thought mm. you are much earlier but you will not discover this true apathy there must arise inside some urge who puts this urge there supreme grace puts this urge inside your heart this urge for freedom the urge to discover what is imperishable the urge to discover our true nature and this is possible this is possible it's available i don't see anything of greater value than for a human being to discover this truth the power is within us to find it out we have not been doing well while our attention is focused on the external on the passing we are not doing well yet no one is ever without grace grace is constantly tapping at the door of your own heart grace brought you here
I don't want to speak merely to your minds. Enough. But what I am pointing to there must be some resonance inside your own hearts, an intuition, a feel that there is something in that. There is something in that. Be willing to be stirred, to be stirred up, to be shuffled up. Be willing even to feel lost. Feeling lost is already a kind of progress for many people. Sometimes we are too fixed in our conditioning. But something moves you. Life is moving to shake this conditioning open so that you can be really begin to breathe the breath of the Infinite One. The chance is always with us. Some power, some power is at work somewhere that is trying to engage your mind, such as the play. One day you will come to see that even this, you are beyond this thing. That you are the effortless being, timeless, immutable. This greatness, a human being, can attain. What puts it in your heart to discover these things, I can't say. Why you came here, and not your friend, not your family? Why are you here? This is a mystery. You are here because you are meant to be here. I don't know where you go from here, with what you have heard. And this place is not only really about what has been spoken also. Mm. So many of you I will see again, perhaps. Some will not, I don't know. It's not with me. All I can tell you is that your life is a great possibility. to go beyond the transient, the trivial, the momentary. I think this is why we are so angry. Because somewhere within we know there is more to it than just this. Sometimes you have to be angry to be free. You have to be disappointed. Your dreams have got to be broken. Your world has got to turn upside down. You have to feel loss. You have to feel bereavement and pain. Because such things it takes to shake us into real life. But only because you are great enough to take it. Not everyone has to go through suffering and pain. Some people come into this understanding with great joy, great rejoicing, great openness. They not only throw their possessions into the fire, they themselves enter this fire. Uh, with folded hands they do it. Perhaps you could be one of them, I don't know. Very great.